But anyway, we got Silver Spoon Brown in here. Mr. Well Written, how, how's it going, my guy? I miss you guys, D3. Yeah, we miss you. you guys. Yeah, you know? come back, man. Now, yes, first mix of it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could rap. I didn't know you could rap. I know you could write, but I didn't know you could rap. The first mix of your very first mix of Yeah. What made you get into the rap game, now? On this end of it. Mm, I felt like the writing, the writing part was, was I was dying down with, with, like, writing with people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I was like, yo, me and E had a talk, like, yo, we need to get hot again. So, what do we have to do to get hot again? So, we sat, we thought about it. Just be an artist. You be the artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we went from that to where we at we here now. People were starting to really notice us. Like, did you think that people were gonna did you think that people was gonna take to your first mixtape? Yeah. How they took to it? Oh, you had the confidence. Yeah. A lot of people be scared to put out a mixtape like, oh shit. Yo, I, bro. They used to be writing. Now put this out. I wrote for every I wrote for everybody. Are we gonna get into the people you wrote about? Yeah, now I'm not even talking about I'm talking about Local artists. Oh, I'm not oh, even, so I didn't even. I'm this get even, even better. Yeah, I'm not talking about. Uh, so we're we gonna talk about these local artists he wrote for. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Just, <laughs> I, I, I want to talk I, about. I, it. I, I everybody say they spit rhymes. Nah, and all I can't. That. I can't. Why well, we can't do that? Do that. They nah, still paying. Nah. If they still paying customers, we're not gonna talk about. Them. I, they don't even have to pay. Oh, like, Bruno was giving it to y'all for free. Not no more. Not no more. Bruno's gonna write for me. I'm about to be the next local artist. Yeah, you better. Yes, I'm about to take this shit by storm. I'm about to be on a track with Bruno. So you gotta sound well written. Though. I gotta sound well written. Yeah, yeah. I can write all my stuff. I want that to write. Yeah, as long as you sign it. Yeah, I'll sign. Cause you gonna write the money. You gonna keep the money, money in house. Yeah, that would be an R&B song. You can do it. Yeah, you're different though. You're not. You're not just a rapper. This is. This is what I like for him, Bruno. You fucking sick. Yeah. You got a track with Kanye mm -hmm. on this new mixtape. How did that happen? That was the hardest thing in the world, man. It was the hardest thing? Yeah, she's like a superstar in these streets. What? Why was it so hard? I was like a superstar in that. I had to call shot teeth like 10 times. I'm like, dang, y'all don't love me no more, so I mean. I know, I know you didn't do that, Shatik is my guy, man. But he got it done. He got it done? Yeah, he, he probably had to strangle us. Oh, uh, man. But he got it done. Does he know who young Bruno was? Yes, Kanye is my people. So man. why did it take so long? Man. Shout out to Kanye. 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 Shout out to That track is young Bruno written all over it. When I first heard it, that was the first song I heard off the track. For real? I had that shit for about two months. I said, holy shit, it's fucking crazy. I did that with my own training camp dude. I don't know if you heard it. Nah, I didn't hear it. Yeah, they knew a couple guys coming out of Queens. Yeah. Like, when people say, the people ask me who my favorite rappers is, they say Vic. That's the first name they say. They don't actually know that it's young Bruno. Vic is my favorite rapper. Vic is one of my favorites. This yeah, is my, my favorite rapper because we want on the lines of things I like. Yeah, R. B. Yeah, I ain't talking about killing. Yeah, nobody. he's not talking about killing nobody. So when I just listen to Young Bruno, it's totally different. I get into that mood. And ladies love, you know. Yeah. Why is it always ladies love? What do ladies love about Young Bruno? I don't know. You have to ask them. No, I'm asking you. What do you I think they love? I don't know. Every, every cool. comes with a lady. I'm just cool. Man. Right, what kind of ladies do y'all like, Mr. E3? Pretty <laughs> ladies. Pretty ladies. We don't, I don't really have a type, it's just beautiful, like, and that falls under Asian, Black, Indian, like, you know, my, I just like beautiful. What about like, you, Mr. Bro? Uh, I like pretty girls. You like pretty girls? Yeah. I see him on the gram, he always got something to do. Nah, nah. You, you, you're a wild <laughs> dude, my guy. Nah. You're a real wild dude. I be chilling, man. But I, now, you got Miracle. Yeah. That was, that's kind of different from the Kanye track. Yeah. yeah. You went a little hard on that. It's I, had, I had to dig for that joint. I, I had went to like writer's block. And I went I went out to um, Atlanta. Yeah. And I caught a vibe out in Atlanta. Came and brought it back here. Yeah. And mixed Atlanta sound like with, with, with well written music sound. Not even yeah, New okay. York sound. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well written sound. Yeah. yeah. We just we just creating our own sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard that track. I said that's a little bit different from Young Bruno. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's club. It's, it's yeah. for the club. I, I liked it. I said that, yeah. that's different. I said now he's really showing. I need. I gotta start showing. Yeah. yeah. I said now he's showing. I said I said have to show off. I now. said yeah. I said now he's yeah. showing. I said it's first. You know, lady, lady, lady. I said then he went to that. I said oh, that's that's a little different. Yeah. No, I gotta. I gotta show what do you see the difference between this mixtape and the last one? Growth. Growth. What growth? What did you grow in? Producing, writing. Vocal, everything. Everything. 
Now I'm gonna ask you something else that a lot of people don't know. You on iTunes right now with 20 up. Yeah. You went from 116 to 108 real quick on iTunes. How you feel about that? Is that your is that your showing off right there? Nah, that ain't that, man. <laughs> is that a little Yo, bit of your showing we, off right he, there? He is, we working. The well written music team is working. And we trying to get the number one. So when we get a hundred to that, that just means we gotta work more to get to top ten, top yeah. twenty. That's what we work So when you seen it jump up that quick, what do you think about? We working. You working? Yeah. A lot of people don't understand the iTunes thing. Can you explain it? To these artists that don't know e, why e, it's so e important, you, you, you explain it, Mr. E. <laughs> it's basically just just putting the music on a bigger platform for people to get it. Um, it's normally the simplest way to get it because every other way, like the the, the, the live mixtapes or the yeah. that pitch, like sometimes people have a hard time downloading. It. Yeah. So we really don't do it for sales. We really just do it for people access like yeah. accessibility. But I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a blessing that it's doing well. Now, where's the E3 mixtape? Nah, it's never going to, I don't think it's going to be an E3 mixtape. Last mix time tape. I had you, you said you was thinking about doing it. We still thinking yeah. about it. It I, might happen. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it. He got a little mixtape, though. That we I, just know he, I, know, I know he be in the little, you know, got something in the stash, and he keep telling me over and over, nah, I got you later. This is what E3 does to me all the time. Nah, I got you. Then he don't come, and then I see Bruno again. Now you had the album before we go into the music. Yeah, yeah, you had the album. Now you went back to a mixtape. Yeah. What was different from that album to this mixtape? Um, with the the life after Noni album, after that was I just I just had to get that out. Yeah. That was like my anger stage. I had to get that out. The mixtape was just the first one was like the open yeah. up, life after Noni. That was like the dark side of me. Yeah. I had to get that out. And ladies first was like, I right, yeah, let's let's, like, let's do what let's we go supposed back to, to what I do. And now this one is like showing off. Like, all right, y'all really can't fuck with me. And these are all performance Shit. records. Yeah. Like ladies really first can't, one. Y'all really can't fuck with me. I'm wondering who he's saying can't fuck with him. Nobody. I'm wondering who he's saying. Nah, nah, nah. He'll tell me sooner or later. <laughs> On the record, off the record. You might as well be honest right now. Yeah, be honest. Like, who can't fuck with you? Tell us. Nobody. Nobody. That's how he honestly feels. Nobody. Can I say the name that you say check him off? Nobody? Nah, I ain't gonna do that today. People. I'm not gonna do that today. Just nobody fuck with your Bruno. That's yeah. what we're gonna just say. Yeah. But well, we're gonna go to some music. What song we gonna throw to since we got it here? Miracle. Miracle, the single? Yeah, let's go to that. Let's go to that. He sounded well written. Yeah, that's what up. So when young Bruno go in the studio, what do you think about? Nothing. I don't, I don't, you don't think about nothing? Nah, I'm just so going up. How, like, how do you just get in there? This song, I know. I'm going to the chicks. I'm going to the club with this one. I don't even do it like that. Like, we, we, really, we, really, we started from scratch. Me and this guy, we start the track, I just tell him, sometimes I'll be like, yo, let's sample this, so yeah. do this. But most of the time, he'll just start working on the beat. Yeah. And while he's working on the beat, we're writing to it. And that's how it's just So you still one of the guys that still write? You ain't one of these guys that say, oh, I don't write and all this stuff? I, I don't write it down yeah. on paper. I just, we go to the mic and we start blurting shit out. And then that's how you come up with these mirrors. Yeah. I didn't think about one line on there. Just sat at the mic. Yeah, you had an EP that came out too. Mm-hmm. You was on a lot. You and Young Pretty running around performing. Yeah. Did you think the Syndrome track was gonna take off like it took off? Damn. Yeah. Hell no. I seen you and Young Pretty running around. I said, what the hell? Yeah, we was running around crazy with something. Yeah, no, it was I, like I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't think. I, you honestly didn't think I it was gonna take off. Like I didn't that. even think of that record. Like when I went to boo, I just said. Really, you know, I didn't think like it's the same. It took like two minutes. That was the anthem for Queen. Everybody who plays that now, from Self and all that, the first song they played, they play that. Queens, You're on it. Yeah. And you didn't think it was gonna be that big. When I first heard it, I said, oh, they don't know where they're going with this. Nah, pretty new though. He pushed it. Yeah, he knew. I seen you out there on the toes and I said, oh, they definitely doing it one and two. Yeah, yeah. And all y'all gonna work together on anything. Is he on this mix it? Nah, he's not on this one. What happened? I don't know. You like the return of fame, but I think he deserved it. Nah, then we did a lot of records together. Yeah, did you do El Cuja? Yeah, we did a lot of records. Why didn't that go as far as the the central? I don't don't understand that. Got a legend on Yeah, I thought that that would have been bigger than the syndrome, and it wasn't. I don't know. I think he pushed the syndrome harder than he pushed the other record. And and as you say that, I feel the same way. He definitely pushed A lot of people don't know. 
you had a situation. Mm -hmm. A guy called you out on the track. Vito called you out on the track. He called you. He called Kason. Mm -hmm. He said, "Young Bruno, 05, 5K or something like that." Whatever case may be. What is with that situation? That's a dead issue. Was it dead when you heard it, heard the song? Even when I heard it, I never I never responded to it. Really. No, you didn't. I was surprised you didn't respond to yeah, it. Yeah, because it was always a dead issue to me. Like he basically was just saying, you know, Bruno's family brought you into a situation. He didn't like how it went, or whatever the case may be. I felt y'all should have been spoken about it before an interview was done. Nah, definitely. That's a, how but you, I spoke to him honestly. I spoke to him yesterday and ran into him. Yeah. What was that conversation? No, he just said that they was calling my phone. I said, I never got the calls. I said, actually, I changed my number. That's probably why I never got the calls. Yeah. And so it was just a misunderstanding? Yeah. Well, we kind of, we patched it up. Did you ask it was, him why did you get on the track and do that, though? It didn't even matter. He should have did that. He's supposed to do that. Like he said in his interview, yeah. yo, he not with me. Yeah. I'm going at him. Yeah. But I'm not going to go at you because by you going at me, more people gonna notice you if I say his name then they gonna know who Vito is. I'm not trying to help you out. Mm -hmm. But so, now it's cool. So y'all passed it up yesterday? Oh. Yeah, we good. That's what I'm talking about, man. They got together, they passed it up. Say what's from Broom, he's not giving you the light, he's not going back. I'm not going he's at just, nobody. He's not doing that. I don't I don't have the time or the energy to beef with somebody. Yeah. I got the time and energy to get to the money. I'm not going to beef with nobody. No, you. I don't see you getting into situations. Nah, so unless, happened, you, unless said, you hurt my happened? family, that's the only. I'm not even. I don't even want to beef over no money. Yeah. No nothing. You hurt my family, then I'm gonna beef with you. No money is worth jail time or killing somebody to me. So to you, that's just a dead issue. I'm mean, gonna leave it at that. Mr. Brown, who we got in the building? We got Lex Boogie, So So. We got Pink Cash. What did they come to do? She came to spit, man. We got the two hottest rap artists in Queens, female rap artists in Queens. You said that with coffee. Yeah, you said a whole lot of stuff with coffee. All the time you, you know the rap. Do, man. You know he's putting y'all the ball, right? When he says this, right? <laughs> I want to know. Do y'all know? Do y'all know the other? She's on. Artists? She's on. She's already on the Kenny McGriff record. Oh, she's on. She's good. You gonna rap? Look, and I'm gonna tell you what he just said. She the two hottest in Queens. Yeah. That means y'all in competition with Kylie Baker, Kylie Ann, and Naima. Oh, easy. See, Ooh, I like the way. They don't, they don't, I'm loving well. They don't, really, they don't really want to play well. That's why I'm loving well. Head head she said this. She said this is easy. I hope y'all tuning in because I'm tuned in. Now nah, look, cause she's for real, man. Her story is for so, real. Like she's for real, for real. So what? Yes. We, we ready for you. That's the you difference. Said, you said it's easy. I want to hear what you got. You said it's easy. <laughs> Let's go. Out. Let's go. She going to give him a preview of... Uh, uh, show us how easy it is. Yeah, I can yeah, go. Show yeah. how easy it is. Let me tell you one thing about me. So, so, here, yeah, nigga, real OG. Try to do the math. I was born in 83. Got a rap sheet long to Jamaica, Queens. Ask me if I fuck the team. Uh, ask the team if they fuck me. Better off getting on your knees and praying that we get this dream Cause you know we gets it popping You know them blocks they cocking You know I'm so, so, so deaf here bitch and ain't no stopping Better north and back And I also been in that trap I used to hustle packs and I'm short on stacks and ain't give a fuck about rap Let's go Talk girl, I'm a definition All you hoes want my position Calling me to make a proposition But a move ain't made without my permission I ain't even gonna go no more <laughs> 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 Who they made? Yeah. Without permission. Without permission. Yeah. 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 Yeah.